2003, television news helped sell a war. Target Iraq, Operation Iraqi Freedom. What you see is the truth. There's no question that Saddam Hussein had Al Qaeda ties. If TV news had done its job, you would have known then what you know now. After 9-11, it was almost seen as treason to be questioning uh, actions of the government. We need to change the economics of television journalism. Too few people own too many outlets. People have a right to know. We need a television network with the courage and ability to investigate, report, and debate without bending to government or corporate pressure. The Real News will be such a network. What makes The Real News different is our funding model. We don't have to worry about quick rating results. We don't have to worry about companies getting peeved and withdrawing their advertising. We don't have to worry about losing government subsidy. It means we can think and act independently and courageously. The Real News is a non-profit video news and documentary service that provides independent, uncompromising video journalism. The Real News will be financed through the economic power of thousands of people around the world. We won't accept advertising or government or corporate funding. Our goal is to compete for a daily news audience in the millions. We plan to break stories throughout the day on our 24-7 website, and our daily world news show for television will be available in over 50 million homes across North America. The Real News will feature entertaining and hard-hitting programming, including Global Warning, reporting on problems and solutions in the environmental and climate change crisis. Welcome to the Global Underground. We'll be looking at our planet through the eyes of young artists from around the world. Skewer, the best of the world's political satire. I agree with you totally there, Tony. Face Off, lively, witty, and fair debate. How did television news shows cover this week's big story? Did they get the facts right? Did they get the context? Join us for the real story. The United States has played a major role in fueling the Civil War, something that the American media is not telling American people. Other programming will include the politics of faith about politics and the prophets. International justice, the law and human rights, follow the money, the global fight against corruption. Organize this, working people and unions. Think, featuring leading minds from around the world. And Rear View Mirror, the history behind the news. From the safety of the heart of our service will be our daily news, where we change the definition of what's news and who's a newsmaker. Are Canadian mining companies violating the rights of Indigenous people in Canada and around the world? We report from Guatemala. <laughs> The news acquisition process for us right now starts with APTN. We've got a satellite up on the roof and it runs throughout the day, multiple feeds, different parts of the world, the top stories of the day. That's a start. We are already working with journalists from different parts of the world who are well established and highly respected in the regions. More than 7,000 people have been captured in America's war on terror. Some have been released. 700 were sent to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. But where are all the rest? Africa supplies a third of China's imported oil. President General Pervez Musharraf's army has deep historical ties to Islamist forces. Do, do we owe something to the Iraqi people other than just getting out? Do we owe them reparations for having brought about this war? Uh, I don't believe that. The Iraqi people are paying the highest price for the failure of American policy. Daily news is critical because that's where people form their first opinion about a breaking story and that's where they form their worldview because of the repetition of daily news. We have to break the monopoly on video-based daily news. The real news will begin with a modest daily news service in the fall of 2007. Our major public launch will be in 2008 with our coverage of the U.S. presidential election where we won't just cover the horse race for power, but we'll focus on the real concerns of American voters. Are the real issues facing American voters being addressed? We go to Jonathan Schell in Washington. Now we hear that new wars, even endless wars, may be on the horizon. Isn't it time we debated whether a foreign policy that weakens our economy and costs the lives of hundreds of thousands of people is in the interests of most Americans? Here are the stories. Here's a guy living in a trailer in his backyard who's paying a mortgage on a house that was destroyed two years ago. 
and he can't even find a job, and nobody's helping him. But there's 362 tons of U.S. cash somewhere missing in Baghdad. Coming up on Global Warning, Avaaz.org in an online campaign says, climate change is the greatest threat facing our world today, and we're almost out of time to stop it. One of the most important stories the real news will be covering is the global warming climate change crisis. All the issues of our time converge here, from the disproportionate effects on the poor to the very way we do business. Well, scientists are telling us we can't keep doing business as usual. And that's why we need television news that doesn't do business as usual. There are solutions for the urgent problems of our times. At The Real News, people working for change to find solutions will be the most important stories we cover. This is Gavin McFadgen with the Center for Investigative Journalism, and I'll be reporting from London for The Real News. I'm Oksana Cheleshova in Moscow. We want media that makes waves. This is David D. from Oakland, California. I'm Pepe Escobar from Sao Paulo, Brazil. This is where information really could be power. I'm with it, I'm in Hong Kong. I'm Babajek the Fire reporting from Washington, D.C. I'm Siddharth Vardarajan of the Hindu in New Delhi. In India, there, you know, you, there, there'll be enough numbers, huge numbers, who, who would be subscribers to such a channel to see something rational. I'm Jody Ray reporting for The Real News from Western Montana. Large chunks of the world are very ready for a network of news that's not CNN, that's not the BBC. I am Takhrid Al Khudari in Gaza City. This is David Newman of Ben Gurion University. Here and everywhere, people want the real news alternative. I'm Leila Hatoum, reporting from Beirut for the real news. This is the sort of thing we can build right now without anyone else's permission from the government or from the business community. It's the powers in our hands. If we're not going to sleepwalk, into more wars and into environmental disaster. We think we need to start with a television news network that won't bow to pressure and has the courage to seek facts. And that means independent economics. And that's why we need you. Real hope means facing a complex reality. Your tax-deductible donation makes it possible. Please contribute. Visit therealnews.com.